Good morning. It is September and things are happening. I work at a university, so September's always a really exciting time. I've got students running by my office. Last week was orientation week, which I never went to, but maybe should have. Everyone is lost because my university is a non-Euclidean nightmare. Every building is different. None of the numbers line up, etc., etc. I don't know that every university is like that, but at the very least, the one I work at is. And so I thought, why don't I do three really important lessons for people coming to university this year? Uh, things I wish I'd known when I started six, seven years ago and before grad school and all that stuff. So the first is do something off campus. You know, whether you volunteer or play sports or you're part of a theater group or it'll introduce you to people of different ages, different experiences, and different walks of life that you wouldn't meet otherwise. And that is invaluable. All right, lesson number two. Try lots of things, don't be afraid of failing. Join lots of things, and don't be afraid of quitting. I mean, these, these two are, are really related. I mean, you are in a position, if you're just starting university, to fail at things in a way where you are sort of free to fail. I mean, the consequences for failing at something in university are reasonably minor. I mean, whether it's trying a project and, and having it not work, or trying a relationship and having it not work, or, you know, trying out new skills and having them not work out. I mean, you are in a, you're in a classroom setting. It's a, this is the place where you can fail safely. I mean, it's a place where you're going to learn to do better by failing, which for me is the only way I really learn. That's what you can tell from these videos. Uh, in the same way, I mean, join lots and lots of things, and rather than feeling pressure to go to all of them, quit some of them. I did this uh, a few years ago when I was when I was finishing up my undergraduate degree. I ran around. I joined the game design club. I joined the atheist movement. I joined all kinds of different things, thinking I want to hang out with all these people, and I do. And you know, eventually, I, I sort of had to pick and choose and I wound up picking and choosing the smaller set of people who are now friends with me in real life past university. Trying lots of things is a way to find out what you're really interested in. I mean you're gonna prioritize different things. It's also a way of expanding those interests. Maybe you never really thought about you know going to space and then you read a couple books and you joined the space club and now you're gonna be an astronaut. Also if you're gonna be an astronaut leave a comment because I want to know if our viewers are going to space. Seriously. Seriously. If you're going to space, we should talk. If you're not going to space, we should still talk. But lesson three, learn the lessons they're not teaching you. I know it sounds like a Zen Cohen, but, but there's a lot of things you learn in college or university that are not explicitly taught in university. You don't have to take an essay writing course. I do recommend it. If you're in the humanities or even in the sciences, take an essay writing course. It will make your life so much easier. But if you, if you take any course that has an essay component, you're going to have experts grading your essays, whether those are TAs who've written hundreds of essays themselves or your professors who have written and read thousands. Take advantage of that criticism. And this is a space where doing poorly is not immediately punished. I mean, in the real world, it's not immediately punished either. That's how people get into public office. But there are much higher consequences for doing poorly. And so this is an opportunity to do, to, to do better by learning what you're doing poorly. You can also learn what you really want to study. I mean, I wasn't really interested in classical studies when I started university. I mean, I liked it. But I like math and science and all kinds of things. But... When it really came down to it, I, I two years later, I was learning two languages, learning the principles of archaeology and history and culture, and I was meeting incredible people and getting involved in their student society, and I, I had a really great time. And I learned a ton of things that I now use in my everyday life. I want to say this is especially true for people going into the humanities, where you know it's not strictly clear what you're going to do after your four years. You know, like, oh, well, I'm in history, so I guess I'll be a historian. But what does a historian actually do? Um, see, small hint, nobody knows what they're going to do after their four years. Nobody. 
Everyone has that question. Or everyone's still figuring it out. And since you're still figuring it out, it's important to learn all the lessons you can, which means learning lessons that they don't teach you. They'll tell you about them, but it's not up to them to teach that the kind of thing. It's up to you to learn it. I hate to use cliches because um, they're not nearly as fun as puns, but university is one of those things where you get out of it what you put into it. And I'll talk about that maybe, maybe in a couple of weeks. All right, I will see you guys on Friday with things. Cause I'd love you even if we were being chased by a horde of zombies. I'd never leave you behind.